Hey everyone, it's Matthew Reiner. Happy Easter! We're gonna make some really cool uh, paper honeycomb Easter eggs today. Woohoo! It's a little different than what we usually do. Um, but these are really cool because they kind of pop open and you have these beautiful Easter eggs that you can make just out of paper and they're all honeycomb. It's really cool. Um, so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna download the template. Okay, so there's a link down below. Click on it, download, and you're gonna click, you're gonna you're going to click. You always click. No, but you're going to download the template and print them out onto just regular cardstock or regular paper. And as, as always, for all the dotted lines, we're going to um, score and fold on those dotted black lines. And then we're going to cut out all the solid black lines. Now, these are three templates. We're not going to actually use these in building our actual craft. We're going to use these to trace the pieces of eggs. And there's three different sizes. There's a, a small, medium, and large egg that we're gonna use in these for these templates, as you can see. So we're gonna cut them out very carefully. And you can choose between you know all these different sizes. If you only wanna make the, the small eggs, or if you only wanna make the big egg, then that's the template that you're gonna use. Now, you can use any types of paper. You can use origami paper, you can use tissue paper, you can use wrapping paper, you can use um, newspaper, you can use magazine, but you're gonna need to use paper that is kind of thin, you know, um, that's thinner than cardstock. You're not gonna want cardstock for this pro project, and you're not gonna want construction paper because it's a little too thick. We want it to be a little bit thinner paper. So you're going to trace onto whatever paper you want to use, origami paper or scrap newspaper or whatever. You're going to use a pencil or a pen, and you're going to trace the outside of the template, and you're going to mark where the fold line is. See where we sort of tick where the fold line begins and ends on the outside of that egg? And if you make little mistakes on the outside, it doesn't matter because that's what the template's for. So see how we've marked the um, those little ticks? And then you're going to use a ruler, and you're going to use your pencil and mark where the fold line is on each one of these traced eggs that you've used from your template. It's really kind of very easy. And you're going to do this, listen to me, 18 times. We need 18 egg pieces. So you're going to use your whichever size egg template that you use from our from the from the um, templates that you've downloaded. You're gonna make 18 copies. Got that? 18 copies. So, um, and you can use any kinds of paper. You know, it's kind of cool if you use like newspaper or, or magazines or you mix the two up. There's, when there's a lot of variation of color between, um, see you can use, use newspaper and all kinds of stuff and, and it's actually probably a little easier to um, make all 18 of those copied egg templates because you can stack the paper that's folded up on itself and you can get like three or four done at the same time. Look at that, you can either use the scissors to cut them all out or an X-Acto knife, see so we can trace. And we can do that. So you need, do we remember, 18 copies of this template egg. Then once you've cut up all 18, then you're gonna fold them all in half. You can use your ruler to, to mark the line and then use you know what we usually use to score things like Paper clip! So fold down the center and make sure you do all 18 of your egg copies. All right, now my, my nephew George and I are gonna finish the rest of the craft together. Okay, so we let this dry. Ooh, it's starting to look good. Look at that, George. Yeah, that's Ooh, excellent. It's excellent. Oh. Anyways, we need to make, we need to secure the um, the hinge here. So will you hand me some, I need some transparent tape. And look what we're going to do. We're going to kind of drape the tape. Ooh, that, drape the tape. It rhymes. Drape the tape. Don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> okay, so we put tape over that edge there. We're going to do the same over at this edge too. Drape the tape. A whispering, yeah, it's all on video, George. <laughs> at least whispering, drape the tape to me. Like, you can't hear it. Okay, so that's going to secure that a little bit more, Those that edge. Also, we need to add something to hang this egg, right? So this is some yarn will you cut it about right in there all 
All right, right about there. All right, I almost cut my finger off. Okay, so <laughs> let's add this. We're gonna loop it, and this is just gonna be for hanging stuff. So let's let's just add some tape right here. You don't have and we'll, to do this. Well, I think you sh well, you don't have to, you're right. If you just wanna have your, um, your honeycomb egg like sit in a basket or something. You know what, I use too much tape, so will you cut it for me on the edges? Without cutting me, right there. Cut, cut a little bit more there. There we go. Sometimes you know we use a little bit too much tape. There we go. We're just gonna tape it right on, right there. Okay, now we need to open up and our eggs. So, what do you think we should do to keep it open? You could use some paper clips. Paper clips. That's a great idea, George. So we're going to use just a paper clip, simple paper clip. We're going to open it up and we're going to use, see, here's our outer edges here. And I'm going to just pull it open and I'm going to clip it at the top and bottom. We're going to use two regular or small sized paper clips. And I'm going to, this way we can open up our honeycomb egg and close it later on. So there's one clip. Hand me the other clip. I suppose if you had more than than just two clips, you could do it three times, but I think two's enough. I think two clips for our honeycomb egg is egg excellent. <laughs> now if you want, if you have little areas like this that aren't staying together, you can close your your honeycomb egg, take out the clips. If you have little areas like, see how there are a couple little areas that are, are disconnecting? What we can do, see is it right there? Just use a little dot of glue to close that area. Where else is it doing that? Let's check, when we open it up, let's check and see. Right there. Right there. You, sometimes you gotta, these are kind of hard projects so just got to add a little glue. You got to make sure. Okay, let's see. We're going to fix that. I'm just going to add a little glue there. And let's see. What about the bottom? Nope. The oh, bottom. Right yeah, there. the bottom. Oh, right there and there. You need a little dot just here because that's that's the outer part. So we're just going to close it shut, glue it. Okay, now that we we repaired our few little areas that were not working right for our honeycomb egg. Now it's time to clip it. Give me those clips. I'm gonna clip it from one side to the other, just like that. On the top. And from the, the pink to the blue there. Can you do it? Clip it on one side, clip to the pink. And that way we can use our honeycomb egg every year for Easter. We can close it shut, or you know what you could do is you could you could make the honeycomb egg, and then you can make the honeycomb egg, and then you could send it to someone. So you could unclip it like this after you've made it before Easter or something. You could even write a message in here, right? We could say, "What do you think, George? What should we write in there?" Happy Easter. And you could send it to somebody if you wanted to. Happy Easter to me. Yay! Wee! That looks more like a cat. It looks like a cat? A bit. <laughs> With big ears. But look at You can send it, put it in the envelope, send it. But look at that. Awesome. We made our very own... Look at this, George. I love it. What paper, is it called? Paper honeycomb Easter egg. Yes. I love it. So you can make all different kinds. And you're going to see lots of cool, beautiful other ones that were made from newspaper and magazines or whatever way you want to recycle paper. Look at that. And it hangs really cool too. Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Do you dig it, George? Yeah, I love it. Look at all these different ones that we also made. 
We made ones with newspaper, when we made ones with magazine paper and all kinds of pattern paper. Look how beautiful those. You could even use what wrapping paper? Ooh, but these are so cool. You could either leave them without um, a hanging loop or, and you could just put them in a bowl or something like that or just decorate on, the, on a, a surface or you could hang them up. Oh, I just love these. So these honeycomb paper Easter eggs, they were so much fun to make. They're so beautiful. All right, well, what did we say at the end of these videos, George? Thanks for watching. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. That's right. So, hey, thank you for making this honeycomb Easter egg with us. This paper honeycomb Easter egg. Uh, I'm Matthew Reinhardt. This is George, my Hi. nephew. And we'll, we uh, we want to wish you a happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. And I hope you've enjoyed crafting. Again, if you um, if you like this content, be sure it. Uh, hit like and subscribe and you'll you'll know about you know future projects that we're gonna do and we got some more Easter projects coming up so stay tuned bye everyone bye.